Hello and welcome to Dell's Gaming. I'm Dell and this is From the Depths version 1.623. Hopefully that number's right. Latest update from the developer. And we're just going to look at a couple or a few of the changes that have happened. Now, um, obviously I'd advise you to read the full patch notes and see if there's anything particular in there but a couple of the interesting points in here in this particular uh, build is some of the changes to some of the missiles uh, so new warheads uh, to add an extra bit of tactical um, side to it there is other changes in the game um, some nice bug fixes like the aim times uh, being fixed um, can't remember the full list but you know there's a lot of bug fixes but the main point changes is weapons now two of the weapons that have changed is there is now this emp warhead now when you are selecting a missile we've got a few missiles here um, all you've got to do is down the bottom now is this emp warhead which you can add in the the it's only got one setting which is a, a warhead arming delay it's designed to eliminate certain objects uh, which are susceptible to electrical damage now you can see which objects they are if you go to build and then bring up your block menu you'll find now that blocks have two values um, avail available to them now uh, well there's actually three values um, and some of these have different values so now the first thing is your basic values now wood for instance has no um, susceptibility to EMP and it's a and it's protective which means it will block some of uh, the EMP metal has no technical information now that means it doesn't take any damage but it will allow the EMP pulse to travel along it. It's like an electrical conduit, same with like alloy block um, and lead. Glass blocks are protective. We'll look at surge protector um, in a little bit. Um, the other part is actual devices. Now, if we go to an AI as an example, AI mainframe, you see it's EM susceptibility on the right hand side, 60%. So it's 60% uh, susceptible and it's 10 damage units to destroy it um, local weapon controllers similar and so as you go through that seems 60 percent 10 is common for items that can be damaged excuse me um, by um, uh, various units um, laser warners again can be damaged um, automated control blocks less susceptible still can be damaged uh, some of these down here aren't as bad where else have we got that uh, can be damaged your not all of the engine blocks some of the engine blocks seem to pass it but superchargers are so superchargers in an engine have a chance of being blown by the looks of it so that's an interesting electrical engines seem to be very susceptible to it as you would expect that um, lasers so far are not susceptible and I would most probably say that that might need to change because you'd have thought lasers are all about electricity so you'd have thought them to be susceptible but hey ho um, but then again missile equipment again is not susceptible identify friend or foes and staggered fires are so if they're near to one of your controllers when they blow up they could destroy the um, uh, missile system so you know maybe the laser should have the same custom cannons uh, generally it's all a lot of metal so you wouldn't expect too much susceptibility to um, EM EM pulses so uh, effectively your cannons will be immune and missiles are potentially damaged if the friend or foe or staggered fire is close to say your control block um, 
lasers are immune at this time which yeah uh, fair enough um, I think that that is only fair I would just, I would have personally thought EMPs would have been more effective against lasers anyway uh, automated control blocks any control blocks are done I may have already said those anything else um, you repair bots and repair tentacles so you'll be destroying those from the from the vehicle uh, docking stations so shield projectors so an EMP pulse will destroy your the enemy shields which is a good uh, thing on a, a lot of um, items is to knock out their shields um, so with you know um, simple weapons seem to be immune which is fair enough so okay that's some of these items let's see how it actually works so what we've got over here is a little test area and then we go over here so we've got alloy block or sorry uh, metal blocks here uh, we've got some weapon controllers here just so you can see now also around the back what we've got is some weapon controllers AI control blocks now the first top three are all on alloy blocks the bottom three on metal blocks just to see if there's a difference and the middle three are actually on in wood and surrounded by wood and finally we've got a few just laid here just to see what the range of any issue is so when we when the uh, it's too thick as well so when the EMP pulse hits it should get uh, transmitted via touching metal blocks so if we just fire this over this way so you can see immediately oops let's turn off the repairs and do that one more time uh, turn off repairs do that one more time so round the back here you can see some of the ones on metal blocks took damage and or were destroyed but the ones on the wood perfectly okay because that blocked the uh, the uh, um, any susceptibility susceptibility to it uh, weird bit here is it seems like the missile I don't know if it's a, a new bug but uh, sometimes I'm losing the missile control control here hmm okay new little bug come up it was okay a little bit a while ago let's uh, go into there no doesn't want to know doesn't want to know let's try going over here and then back again yes come back again okay another little bug so um it's uh, losing it but this is only for manual firing so i'm not too worried about that it doesn't affect the ai so okay let's just see that one more time if we just repair everything and fire one more time so you can see all of the ones on that this time on those blocks at the top got damaged uh one on the the bottom um also explosion from one thing but again all the wood okay so tip here um, it's got to be relatively close uh, you can see some of these items didn't get affected by it so maybe three blocks so either put them well away from metal certainly the external skin or make sure that they are mounted and not touching metal in any way uh, so that's how they work now what you could do is combine missiles you don't have to um, have one type of missile so here we've got a explosive and EMP so we'll just turn everything off there we go it's fine so the explosive will do a bit of damage and the EMP will as well so we should have you can see there's some of them got affected on that bit there and then finally we could put a fragmentation with a very lone cone to um, come in here and penetrate and then also provide the EMP pulse now that was good in that it got the wooden ones as well as all the metal ones as well so you know frags are still the way to go you know frags will do a bit of both they'll get the EMP pulse the EMP pulse is not a very long-range weapon that is uh, for certain you know um, 
it is only designed to be fairly short. Okay, another little addition, as far as warheads go, has been the flare st and the sticky flare. Now, this can be used in two ways. One is for attracting your own missiles, and um, also for as a decoy system. Now we'll look at the attracting your own missiles. I've only just done a basic one here. Here we have a sticky flare and what we can do or what is set is it'll only ignite say five seconds after firing and then it will, it will flare for about 20 seconds. So just to show that in uh, operation if I just fire this at the wall whoops that's the wrong one let me just get back over to here there we go I was in the wrong seat. Now I'm in the right seat. Now it's in the right seat. Okay, so if we fire this this missile here, about five seconds after, you can see that flare. Now I'm going to use the heat view here. You can see that flare has got a, a value of a thousand. So um, unfortunately, the, the testing rig still has a value of even higher value. But we could put more flare. You can see how it's now two thousand. And the more flares you put into this particular point, the hotter it will be, be, become and the more chance an infrared will attack it. So basically any infrared missiles would be attracted to this flare. Now the good bit, bad bit on this really, uh, good bit, um, it you know, attracts your missiles. Bad bit is if you hit something good, then all your miss other missiles are going to hit the same good bit. But what if you hit something that's not great? You hit the wrong thing or a bad part of it. So you've got to be sure of hitting your target. Now what you could do is have your flare missiles, as an example, on a laser guided with aim point. That gives it a very good chance of hitting something crucial. And then all your infrareds then just home, which might be say delayed by a second or two behind it maybe, would all home in on that flare. Uh, as, a, as an idea, as a possible idea. Flares in general, how do they work? Um, we've got a couple of settings here and this is going to show off one of a couple of changes here. A very simple flare system. We have a sticky flare with a fuel tank and, 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 and fins. Now I'm also going to show one other change here, sorry I moved around a bit quick there, is we can now change the ejection elevation and azimuth. Now that means the angle that the the flares will eject. So here I've got one set at minus 60, uh, this one's going to be at zero, and this is plus 60. So this is all the angle compared to straight ahead. Now this is only accounts if you actually have an ejector module. If you don't have an ejector module this has no effect. So now we're going to use this control block which also has a new effect which is fire weapons. Under the affected we can have it weapon systems within a certain range to fire the weapons and these can be set for obviously anything you want. We could make it so that when it reaches a certain attitude it fires the weapons or when there's something in front you know all the basic changes. There is also this hostile missile. We'll look at that in a minute uh, but that also would be obviously effective. Now let's just see these in operation. So if I do there, you can you see how all the missiles went in different directions based upon that um, value. Now also you can now see that those flares are up there and fairly hot, which means that uh, um, something's going to be attracted to those flares. Um, Another quick bit is the more flare modules you have, if I just quickly adapt this one and put more sticky flares in, there we go, and then fire this off one more time. You'll notice all those flares there. You can see it's got actually a value of 4,900 because in that particular area is a lot of flares. 
which makes that very susceptible to being attracted to you know, you know infrared systems being attracted to it so you know the more the, a bigger flare missile would be better than a small one but you know still a small one fires very quickly right let's see it in operation and then i'll show you how it actually really works now we've got you know, the tank turn off the um heat view for a second or, or i'll leave it on we've got a normal target over here which has a temperature of 229 and same over this way now if i turn that mm. off just so that we can see it without that let's turn off my build menu there we go uh, this one if we just fire our this is a, a standard um infrared missile nothing really special fire it over here and it homes in on that target and wallop now you'll notice something in the top right hand corner it's a new little window that shows you the damage applied to uh, that's being applied from a missile it did it penetrate how many how much damage did it do etc uh, so when this actually hits we can see penetration 180 i don't know exactly what all those figures mean but uh, they're showing damage so that had no decoys we're hitting the target now this one over here has a decoy system which i will show you how that's put together in a short while but first of all let's fire at this target and getting close getting close and no hit and we've got lots of flares being fired out and if i fire flares now if i go to the heat view you can see all these flares in the water that it's being attracted to now every time i fire it's heading towards these flares in the water and no longer at the target even if i aim up here let's aim up try and try and fool it into giving us a, a target no nope, it still wants to have the flares so the flares are doing the job on there and as soon as the flares go if that missile gets close to it again it would give a, you know, not um, not work basically so how's that how is the flare system um, working I'll just quickly show you an example of the target that I used I'll give it as a my team as, as a uh, player and it's a target balloon target flare okay so if I go in here B what we have down we know there's two parts that this needs or multiple parts this needs it, it must be connected um, to an AI now the first part of it is exactly the same as we had on the other area we have some very simple flares this one just has a very simple one block with two sticky flares real simple um, I've actually set them to fire at 20 seconds so that would, means they'll keep going for about 40 seconds um, control block fires the weapon system if a missile gets within 250 meters bit of a stagger fire just to launch them off now the other key bit is we have this new item here which is a missile warning system now in your build menu um, sorry let me just get back to that again I was already on on here build All right so if I go into E that comes under AI missile warner um, I know it's red on there but uh, uh, I've uh, just added it to my system here so if we go back here number two we have a missile warner now that is basically a um, item you can just put onto here now one key bit is it must be connected to a mainframe so i've created a six-way connector put a um, radio receiver on here and connected it to a mainframe up the top if there is no mainframe connection this will not work and the control block here will not work unless there is a, a missile warning system on the vehicle that detects 
the missile. Now I haven't checked if these are angled at this moment. Um, haven't looked into that particularly, but I'm guessing they are directional, similar to like the laser warners and the um, LAM systems are. So um, it's better to have a like a similar here, which just looks in every direction and tells the AI, oh, we've got missiles coming in. So this is basically the setup we have on that um, system over there, which is doing a good job, basically, of get back into the seat, you silly boy. Silly boy Pike, get in there. There we go. Um, which is doing a good job of defending itself against these missiles. So you could put that into the back of a plane or somewhere on the plane. As soon as the missile, if something fires a missile at it, it just launches flares. And I'm going to do that on some of the planes on the, before I'm putting the contact in the uh, next system. Maybe the Condor and uh, maybe some of the Falcons. I'll put a simple flare system on them potentially, especially the Condor because that is very susceptible when those, those uh, Bombay doors are open. So I'm uh, uh, very uh, interested in using it on that one. But uh, okay, that's the main changes uh, that I wanted to show to you. Um, as always, thank you, uh, uh, Nick, for putting out this development build and getting these changes uh, put up. Greatly appreciated. There's some good little uh, changes here. Makes it uh, a little bit more viable to um, uh, what I'm personally thinking. The heavily shielded craft, uh, an EMP pulse, will be great to take out the shields on, um, on vehicles. Uh, I'm liking the flares. The flares are a great addition. It makes a simple um, system that is effective against LAMs. Obviously, it doesn't work against laser missile systems, uh, but uh, they are more complex and have their own set of problems with a laser guided in that uh, the laser guidance system, uh, if I go into here, uh, missiles, I haven't checked. Oh no, the missile emitter is not showing um, susceptibility. I was wondering whether it was susceptible to uh, e EMP. But generally, a good set of um, changes. As I said, please have a check of the full um, uh, list in the uh, patch notes, which when you come into the game, at the, at the beginning of the game, if I just go to uh, back to the return to the main menu on the right hand side you have release notes so you can see in here all of the various changes so just going through um, warhead I'm in time saved uh, oh yeah blueprint spoiler now shows correct um, correct resources which was a problem before um, Heat viewer, heli spinners, surge protector. I didn't check the surge protector. That's one thing I didn't do on there. Basically, a surge protector um, you can put into various components and basically it will attract all of that EMP pulse and that takes the damage rather than your other uh, areas. One key bit though, don't put it right next to your unit. Otherwise, when it gets destroyed, it destroys everything else out as well so you've got to put it in places where it will just suck up the damage without giving it to anybody else um, the white flares have been um, overhauled which is going to be interesting um, and another key one fleets if you've set an altitude they remember it as you move over you haven't got to remember to change the, the altitude every time oh that's great um, so hopefully you um, enjoy this video and have found the uh, changes helpful to you and your design and the ships um, please click that like button and leave any comments of anything else that you think is interesting but they were the, the main ones I saw um, but until next time have fun <laughs>